What's going on, everybody? Al here. Street Sense Q and A with Al and Lewis. Yes. Welcome, everybody. And Al, welcome What's going again. On? The questions have come in, right? Yes. A lot of questions, and we're gonna try to answer most of them. Yeah, absolutely. All right. So absolutely. We're gonna have to make this quick because it will be here all night if we try to answer them <laughs> yeah. in full detail. A lot of questions came through. Yeah, a lot of questions. So I had to cut it down. So I apologize if you asked a question and it does not get answered. I'm sorry because it was. A lot. <laughs> a lot. <laughs> so I picked, you know, a bunch of uh, random questions that I thought were the most interesting, and I figured we'll answer them yeah. as quickly as we can. So number one, you ready? Let's yeah, so let's, let's do this. I think you know. You want to? I think this thing? was a great idea. That way, uh, we have a little bit more interaction with you guys at home. Yeah. Yeah. It's, I mean, uh, a, few other, a few other re reviewers did this as well. I figured we'll do it. I do it too. But I include you. You know. Yeah. Thank cool. you. So Absolutely. And you do it. Yeah. So let's go. Question number one is uh, from, let's see, Rui Miranda. Rui Miranda. <laughs> it says, this is for me actually. Have you ever noticed somebody outside the community wearing a Creed fragrance? What was your reaction? Cheers. Yes, I did. I, uh, I was at Sesame Place. You know Sesame yeah. Place? Oh, in PA. In PA, yeah. Absolutely, yeah. I was at Sesame Place. I was online and this guy walks by and he's wearing Aventus. I told my wife, I was like, this guy's wearing a Ventus. I actually kind of followed him a little bit just to make sure that he was wearing a Ventus. And I was shocked. I was shocked. At, at Sesame Place, the guy's wearing a Ventus. So that's, that's the answer for that. <laughs> that's great. <laughs> Sesame Place. That's I thought place. you were going to say, like, one of the characters. Ah, yeah, it's, it's... Like, what's Elmo wearing? <laughs> <laughs> All right, next one. Let's, uh, question number two is for, let's go with this one. Al, Al and Lewis from the... The appreciative one. The appreciative one. The appreciative one. I kind of like that. That's I have cool. a question for Lewis and Al. How come Creed Himalaya doesn't get, doesn't receive, nor get the respect of other fragrances like Green Irish Tree, Silver Mountain Water, or Royal Oak? Oh my God! I, actually, we just did a video on Himalaya. We just did a video on Himalaya. But you know what? I just think that you know it's it's the time of year. I mean, we maybe we don't talk about it so often because everybody wants you to come in and talk about Aventus. So Aventus right now, it's getting a lot of hype, but Himalaya is something that we have, and it's a standard set for a lot of people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, so I think this time of year, it's the best time, in my opinion, to wear Himalaya. So we sell it now. We sold a lot through the holidays. And, um, you know, it's one of the ones that we definitely carry. It, you may not have it close to you at nearest Neiman Marcus, but definitely here at the Coup Boutique, we have it. We sell it. Himalaya. Himalaya. Watch out for the video. Yes. Yes, we did a video actually with, uh, I'm not sure I'm going to upload that video before this, but just look out for it. Yep, Himalaya. so Himalaya is in the way. So Street there sense. you go. You'll check the appreciative out a one. Of, a lot of great uh, re reviewers as well in that video. Yep. All right, next question. This is for you, just for Lewis. Does Lewis use fragrances other than Creed from Poland? This is from uh, Archie. Archie M. Archie M in Poland. Wow, that's great. Archie M. Man, your reach is far out. You're reaching people in Polish? Yeah. In Poland, excuse me. Poland, Poland. yeah. That's a lot, great. A lot of international support, I must yeah, say. Yeah, to the kielbasa people. Okay. <laughs> now, um, yeah, you know what? I, I actually do wear like different fragrances. You know, again, you know, fragrance to me is accessory to life. So it really depends how I'm feeling, what I'm doing. You know, um, a lot of times, like even before bed, after I take a shower, I'll just use like some like Colonia from Aqua di Parma. You know, I like super light, lemony, Colonia style fragrances. Okay. You know, a lot of times you'll catch me wearing pure white if I'm doing something out or, you know, if I'm dressed in business attire. But at home, sometimes I'll wear like Imperial from Guerlain. Okay. Um, or I also like um, 4711. So these limey. Wow, that's old school. Yeah, you know, listen, I'm 40 now. <laughs> you know, so I, uh, but, but, I think I'm turning into my father. But when people see you or think of you, they think. This guy wears Creed all the time. You know? Yeah, absolutely. You know, most of the time I do, but you know, I'm gonna be. If, listen, if I want to be a little, bit, you know, noticed, I will wear the Creed. If I want to be something a little bit more intimate, something for myself, then I'll just I'll use one of my my light ones. You know, like 4711. Yeah, 4711, right. which is great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is just listen, classic. It's an old classic scent, but again, it's, it's it has a gentleman factor. Yeah, yeah. You know? Uh, also, like Au Sauvage, you know. Oh, yeah, yeah. This is your, I think yeah. someone, someone asked about that. And yeah, not, not the newer one, but like, yeah, you know, but this is like classic. Yeah. We're going to talk about that in a minute. All right. All right, the next question is for you again. So, this is from David Miller. It says, I have been hearing a lot on base notes that Creed fragrances actually get better with some age on them. Wow. Not years, obviously, but months after first spray. 
People claim the, that they bloom once oxygen is exposed to the liquid, claiming that it has something to do with the uh, oxidation. Yeah. yeah. Can you see if Lewis will expand on this idea? That's a great question, by the way. I mean, that's a very educated question. Thank you. Um, <laughs> you know, yeah, a fragrance will oxidize. So the way, you know, let's just get virgin onions right now. So, you know, when you have a brand new bottle, you're pumping, nothing comes out. Yeah, right? yeah. So then, brand new, yeah. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah you're actually pumping uh -huh. air in. Yes. The pressure builds, you shoot out your fragrance. So you broke the seal, now air is inside. Mm -hmm. So, you know, that's really the starting point of your, of your fragrance shelf life. You know, all fragrances have a shelf life. You know, so, yeah, as it sits and you have air in there, you, if you have it in the sun, I mean, you know, it can definitely speed up the oxidation. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, some of the top molecules, some of the freshness, can actually go down. But I will tell you, Cree fragrances have, have a long tolerance. So, you know, yeah. fragrances like vintage Tabarum, we were talking about earlier. Yeah. I mean, last time that thing was bottled 15 years ago. Yeah, just... People going gaga over that fragrance. We smelled it all here. Yeah, and amazing. everybody said it's amazing. Yeah, that's old. Again, that tester yeah. was 15 yeah. years ago. Does it smell amazing? Absolutely. Yes. You know, um, and also, like for example, we talked earlier about uh, Green Irish Tweet. A lot of people, they spray green orange sweet, they like the beginning because it's nice and yes. fresh. Amazing. Like open. me. I love the opening. I love the opening. So for me, a bottle of green orange sweet goes really quickly. So I, yeah, I go yeah, through yeah. it right away because I like that freshness all the time, all the time. But then you have those people who like the dry down. So those people will be very conservative with their bottle because they like the dry down. They spray yeah. it, they wait for it to dry down, they're like, I love it, I love it. They don't put it on until the next day. Right? So let's say that green orange sweet, we keep it out for five years. Mm -hmm. All right? Five years later, is it the same? No, it's changed a little bit. It's definitely oxidized and it's matured. Now, those little top molecules, that freshness, it's, it really won't be there. Yeah. It really won't be there. For, so for me, I'll be like, mm, it's good, it's good. But for the person who likes to dry down, oh my God, yeah. it's the best green Irish tweed fragrance I've ever had. Yeah. Oh, I'll give you 5,000 for it. <laughs> so, you know, it's, ox oxidation is a factor in a fragrance, but some people like it. And some people you know, don't. people who like you know the deeper parts of the fragrance, yeah. an older fragrance is definitely for you. Yeah, open it. You know, if you like that fresh all the time, no, yeah. you want to like you know get, I like. get a new bottle every few years, yeah. every three four years. I'm like yeah. you, the GIT opening is. That was a great question. Thank you. Yeah, that was a great question. Yeah. All right, the next question is for me and you. Uh, my question is for Lewis and Al. By the way, this is from Keno Kevin. Keno Kevin. <laughs> Lewis and Al, how many sprays of Creed Aventus do you recommend for Ooh. a casual outing, and where would you apply each spray? Okay. Well, <laughs> <laughs> there's no right or wrong way to put a fragrance. I always tell people, if you're going to get a pedicure, spray it on your feet. <laughs> put it where other people will smell it. You know, I'm Spanish, I'm always kissing people, I always yeah, have yeah, it on my I neck, put it, I put it in my hair, I put it in my hands, I go like this, I go like that. You know, I mean, there's really no right or wrong. I think that's a learned trait. I think, you know, if you saw your pops in the bathroom kind of splashing stuff on, I think you'll do that. Yeah. You know, if you're a girl and you see your mom spraying in the air and you kind of walk through that mist, yeah. you're yeah. going to do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, there's no right or wrong. Um, as far as the application, like how much, yeah. I think you just have to be conscious of the, the area you're in. I mean, if you're working in a hospital, you kind of want to be sensitive to that. So yeah. maybe two to four. It will depend, yeah. Yeah, and but then if you're going to be in a lounge. And you want to be known as and you want, And you want to cut the room. But you know, do like 12. <laughs> but you know, <laughs> but, Creed, limit. but Creed, you don't wear it every day because it's so expensive. But when you do wear it, wear it. Right? Yeah, you I wear, that's, wear that's it. That's like six plus sprays. Yeah, I mean, yeah, correct. I mean, you don't wear it every day if you, you, know, you, you save up, you buy a bottle. You know, I, I, you know, I spent $300 on this yeah. bottle. You know, for like you know, a regular guy, mm -hmm. $300. Mm -hmm. When you wear it, wear it. But don't wear it every day because it's expensive. Correct. Right? I mean, listen, I like, it's like anything else. You know, you don't want to overdose, but the days that you wear it, you know, just enjoy it. Enjoy, yeah. it, enjoy it. So, how many sprays? Eight. <laughs> <laughs> I say six, but. Six to eight. Six to eight. All right. Six to eight, you're good. When you wear a queen, you gotta wear it. That's that's my motto. Absolutely. You know, and enough of the air thing. Put it right on your body. You know. Uh, pulse All over. Pulse All over. Points, yeah. All right. Next question is from man. These, these names I can't. Let's see here. Yeah, read, read that. Uh, Vixra. Vixra is that from Vixra? Okay, Vixra. This is for me and you. What is the best or ultimate way to store your fragrances? Temperature Ooh. controlled. What temperature? Air sealed. In the original box, away from light, etc. 
How does aging affect the juice? I think we just yeah, we kind of touched a little bit on that. Uh, mm -hmm. Is there a positive or negative change in as time progresses? Mm -hmm. We spoke about that. How do other pre products such as soaps, aftershaves, etc., compare in scent with the colognes? Ooh, that's a great question too. We never really talk about the ancillaries, but the first part of the question about storage. Yeah, yeah storage. Dark you know, area. Yeah, um, all fragrances have three enemies: light, light yeah. air, and heat. So definitely don't keep your fragrances in the bathroom. bathroom is yeah, the temperature change yeah. will just make it really weak, really yeah, quickly. Bathroom is a no no. Yeah, you know, and if, if don't put it on your window. Yeah. I mean, if you want like a stained glass look, it's cool. If on your window, the sun will destroy your fragrance. Yeah, that I know destroy. a lot of guys that keep their fragrances in the bathroom. I'm like, you guys. Are yeah, you know, and, and I've also heard a lot of people want to keep their fragrances, you know, the, the fragrances in the fridge next to the lettuce. I I guys, see that too. I no, see that too. <laughs> your fridge is way too cold for that. Is. So yeah, <laughs> sounds interesting. You, you know? get a cool wine cooler. You know, a lot of guys have. Yeah, wine I mean, you know, um, in in laboratories, you know, um, these scientists they keep you know these perfumers they keep their raw materials in, in a temperature controlled um, chamber mm -hmm. or refrigerator, but it's set specifically. Usually, fifty five degrees is a friendly temperature. Okay. You know, to kind of slow down the oxidation, but they, they're still aging. Mm -hmm. It's not that you're stopping it, it's just you slow it down. It's kind of like yogurt. Yogurt is good in your fridge, but yeah, it yeah. does have a limit. You yeah. can't keep it three months. Yeah, yeah. You know, so, you know, just kind of be... On your dresser with Creed is fine, just not in direct light. You know, these bottles are great. I don't think you need to hide it in a box. You know, even a flacon. You know, our fragrances are... Um, they have, like again, they, they have a long shelf life, so you don't have to worry about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, awesome, yeah. awesome. And then um, the second part about the oh yeah, the, yeah, the after, products. Yeah, yeah. After shave and uh, yeah, you know, um, we've been out of um, Aventus deodorant for quite some time. It's a very yeah, popular yeah. item. Yeah. Very, very popular item. We just got it in, by the way, so it's good. Um, it smells really close to the fragrance. Mm -hmm. You know, um, our our ancillary products they use pretty much the same base on all of them, and they just add. The concentrate, mm -hmm. so they add a specific amount. Now you need to understand. A lot of people will. Does the aftershave have the same intensity as, as the fragrance? fragrance? Yeah. It's impossible, of course, because you can't put that much essential oil on your face. You'll have you have a, you know you break out. Yeah, yeah. So it ha it's it's enough. So you get the enjoyment. You know you're putting on Green Irish Tweed aftershave uh -huh. or Aventis, you know, or Millicent Imperial or Silver Mountain, and it smells. Does it enhance? Much, you think it enhances? Like if you put some on and you spray the fragrance on it, will it enhance? The body oils, absolutely. Okay. After shave, you want to stay oils, away from yeah. the fragrance, but the body oils, absolutely. Yeah, the body yeah. oil. Yeah. Is delicious. Yeah. yeah, yeah. If you guys haven't tried the Millicent yeah. Imperial body oil, and that enhances spray. the actual fruit. You put absolutely. that on and put the fragrance yep. over on, like, on top mm -hmm. of it. It's an alcohol free formula. You can use it um, after the shower when you're kind of you know warm yeah, yeah. and kind of dewy. It slides really nice. You just kind of wait a couple minutes. Your body starts taking it in, you put on your fragrance on top, you're good to go. Yeah, yeah. So that's good. They, they do very well, right? The aftershave yeah. and the lotions yeah. and stuff. They you sell know, very in, well. You know, in the winter, everybody's kind of dry, so the oils sell really yeah. well. And then, of course, in the summer, everybody wants to be you yeah, know, yeah. kind of shiny and, you know, sun kissed. Oil. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, awesome, awesome. Let's, so, uh, let's go to the next one. That was, that was awesome. These are great questions, you guys. I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm proud of everybody. That's great. This next question, we're not going to answer it, but I'm going to read it. This is for another video. Okay. This is from Christian Silva. And he writes, Lewis, who made what creed? Can you name the seven creed master perfume maids? Yes. And yes. which creed fragrances they made? Absolutely. So we're going to not talk about Yeah, this is something that you and I have talked about. Yeah, we're going to go. That's another video. That's yeah, another time. And your next visit, uh, we're going to do something yes. a little different. We're so gonna Christian's do, answer, question will be answered in that video. In that video. We're actually going to do the history of creed from 1760 to 2015. And he knows okay. it all, so... Well... <laughs> you train on, a lot! You sure last name's not Creed? Uh, I'm, I'm the stepson. Louis <laughs> Creed. So yeah, so Christian Silva, your question will be answered the next, in the next... Yeah, visit. so that, that's a great one. That's and you know, awesome. And I, I, want, I want people to, to know that I mean, there's more. There's more to it. A lot of people, just they, they just don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Okay, so let's move on. The next question is from ML King. What is your favorite fragrance of all time? Ooh, that's tough. Oh, that's very tough. That's very tough. That's for both of us. Yeah, you know, for me, is it gonna I, be a creed? I, there's there's a couple creed. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. You know, listen. I think I think fragrances kind of take it to a place in time. Yeah. You know. I mean, I, I'm not gonna listen, say Fahrenheit is you know. Uh, Fahrenheit. You know. Cool water. Eternity. Yeah. CK one. Those are I mean, all. I, 
you know, we were young guys, and that yeah. was that was in, also in, in, within Please. our reach. Yeah, yeah. They, but, but they were, they and were, Green Irish Tweed also, you know, Green Irish Tweed. In my first smell, I, I love Absolutely. it. Absolutely. So and of course, Aventus is another one. Yeah, that's that's a really hard one. Um, what about you guys? I, I can name ten. You know, and, and it's funny because um, some of these classics, like I smell them now, it's not me anymore. But when I do smell them, it, it takes me to a good place. You know, there was a time where we were, in, you know, junior high school. We all wore cool water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we I've, thought, I've been there. Yeah, we thought we were the coolest guys on the planet, and the reality is that we weren't. Yeah. <laughs> it's trying to be. But but yeah, absolutely. So you know, um, that's that's a hard one because I have a lot of them. You know, cool water. I, I had to, to mention Fahrenheit because Fahrenheit, Fahrenheit was great. It's still, I still wear it to that's, this day. I was mean, pure water. I don't wear anymore. Yeah. Jokar, I don't wear. But Fahrenheit, I do. Jokar. I do reach for Fahrenheit. Ooh. Rodney Fahrenheit. Fahrenheit. For sure. <laughs> yeah. what about, you want me to ask everybody? Let's get everybody involved. What about you, Cody? Uh, what's the question? Sorry. What's your favorite fragrance of all time? Of all time? Yeah. Ooh, damn. Uh, come back to me. All right. Yeah, that's all. <laughs> okay, you're, you're, on, you're on the spotlight. That's mine. Would be Aventus. Aventus. Yeah, okay. okay. All right. Hey. That's good. I really can't answer that question. And, and, and something. Name the any fragrance. Something that you wear a lot. Oh. You got one? Cody's got two. All right. Probably Bergamot 22. All right. That's wow. awesome. That's awesome. That's wow. a great fragrance. Yeah. Bergamot 22. Amazing. Like, oh, summertime, Nautica Voyage, wintertime, Burberry, London. Wow. Nautica Voyage. Impressive. Wow. You want to get involved? Sure. Well, uh, say, what was your name again? Rob. Rob. He's Rob. a subscriber, right? Yes. He just so happened to come by the Cree Boutique and he's yep. been to fragrances big time, <laughs> which yes. I respect. Actually, you bought four black ones of the Z01 juice. Z01. Which I'm jealous. Yeah. By the way. <laughs> yes. Yes. Uh, what's your favorite um, fragrance of all time? I gotta say, Aventus is my favorite of all time. But yeah. Fahrenheit was, you know, uh, groundbreaking for me. Definitely Fahrenheit. Fahrenheit. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. The, ori the original formulation. Yeah. Original yeah. formulation. That's yeah. A, yeah. Yeah. Right. That has a right in there. Correct. Why I agree. Correct. Correct. All right. All right, Rob. Thanks, Rob. Right? Yes. All right. Let's move on to. <laughs> Rob, did we get Rodney? No. Oh, yeah. Well, I, I I agree with him. Fahrenheit back in the day was yeah. decent. Yeah. It was great. Rob and yeah. Aventus is my number one. Okay. Now we gotta go to Max. Let's get Max. For a while, I had um, Dior. Uh, Eau Sauvage is my signature scent, wow. and then after that, oh, groundbreaking for me was um, Dolce Gabbana Pour Homme, the old one with the uh, little sticker on, on the bottle. It was very groundbreaking for me too. I wore that for like ten years. So awesome, Freddie Photo one. Me, uh, growing up, it could have easily been Fahrenheit and maybe even Yop. Yeah, uh, wow. But um, I call it you. <laughs> right before, right before this uh, fragrance journey, I went into it was body curls. Oh, wow, uh, body curls, like and a then, candy, like a cotton candy. Eucalyptus. Yeah. yeah. But within the last few years, I can say I have a few, maybe like Zero Drops 1888, uh, wow. Creed Spice and Wood. Those are some of my That's favorites. Uh, I don't have a specific favorite one, yeah, favorite, it's tough. But, but those are just some of the ones that I've grown to love throughout all the years. Awesome. Nice. All right. I figured we get everybody's little take on that, you know? Yeah. All that's right. Great. Awesome. Great questions. Wow. Like, All right. So. Your subscribers are, <laughs> they're on, they're serious about this. I love it. Yeah. It's, the, 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 this next question is going to be, hopefully you can answer this. Ready? Right. Let's, Let's do, do it. it. Let's do it. How has the recent EU regulations on certain ingredients affect, affected Creed fragrances? I feel like the longevity and projection of Ventus has taken a hit. Is this due to the restrictions of oak moss? Ooh. That's a great one. You know, um, I think all um, the whole fragrance industry has taken a hit. Some of the houses more than others, now, especially the EU regulations. What is that? Yeah, the European Union. European okay. Union. You know, it, they have the IFRA, which is like the FDA, where they regulate ingredients that you can use in your formulas. Okay. Whether it's fragrance or cosmetics or where you're drinking, you know, sports drinks and all that. So um, I think uh, in the in the fragrance realm, you know, old houses. Uh, like Caron, like Chanel, like Guerlain, Creed, Penhaling, and, and all these old companies, they definitely took a hit. I mean, if, if, you're, if you're a Creed guy, uh, in the past couple of years it has been a little bit of a sad time because we lost a lot of the classics. There's a lot of the classics that have been halted you know, for this reason. You know, um, 
you know, we had we we had an amazing private collection fragrance that um, a lot of people may not know at home, but it was called Cypress Musk. Okay. Cypress Musk. The minute you open the box, the smell of oak moss just filled the room. Wow. Amazing, amazing scent, and um, we we were lucky to have a few a few of those those pieces, and we actually sold them to special clients. We kind of held them, and we, we handpicked the people who, who can get this fragrance. I mean, it's really all that. Um, so yeah, I mean, it has it has affected um, because you know we, we we lost some of the classics, and here in the boutique, well, you know, it's like the Ventus, though, right? You no, know, I mean, you know, now there is a refined version of Oak Moss that you can use, and Aventus was actually produced um, after those regulations already came into effect. Um, yeah, Aventus does have oak moss. That's an ingredient that people don't really talk about, you know. But there's also vanilla and jasmine that people yeah. don't talk about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Aventus, but uh, no, Aventus is safe. I think um, the longevity question. Um, to me, the first thing I, I would ask is, where did you get your fragrance? Number two, you're probably overdosing, because what happens is, the more you put on, the more you put on. Yeah, yeah then you just don't smell it anymore yeah, because yeah. your body's already yeah, yeah. you know adapted to it and you know it becomes you. Yeah. So you don't smell yourself. Yeah. Everybody else will smell Around you, you yeah. but the perception I mean it's on you, it's just that you're not catching it. Yeah, that's yeah. how I went to see yeah. it. Yeah. But then yeah, yeah, correct. But then you take your shirt off at the end of the night, yeah, yeah. you put it in a room, you walk yeah. away, go to the kitchen, go back and smell it, you're like, oh yeah. My jacket, my, I wear a vest on my jacket and I still smell it on there. Days later. Days later. Absolutely. It's on there. Absolutely. So I don't think the longevity is a problem. Uh, first, I would ask um, if, if you bought it from an authorized retailer, number one, and second of all, you're probably overdosing, so maybe like um, set it down for a week, use something else, and go back to it. You'll see. Awesome. Great awesome. question. Yeah, Love that. that was a great question. Uh, the next one is for me. It says, what's your favorite fresh, clean fragrance, both niche and designer? All right. That's uh, Prada Amber Porom is a good one. Soapy, yeah. uh, fresh. Sure. And uh, I'll say probably a, re a repeat original better. Those yeah. are mine. Oof. Original better. Yeah. Um, I, you? I think for me, clean would be uh, niche. Definitely Millicent Imperial. Okay. I, I, I definitely love that one. Um, more commercial for clean. Oh my God, there's just so many that I like. Yeah. It's tough. You know, I, I get. I, I want Prada. It's, you know, Prada. Yeah. It's a soapy. Yeah. I don't smell. I would say 4711, and it's, it's <laughs> guys, it's not that expensive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just a great refresher. You know, after you t after you shave, put that sucker on your face. Oh, it's great. 4711. <laughs> yeah, you can get it in a lot of drugstores actually. You know, it's it's a colonial style. It's not gonna last all day, but while you have it on, it's pretty nice. All right, all right. So let's all right. move on to the next one. Uh, Okay, for me and you, for Alan Lewis, hi, this is, I'm not even reading names, I forgot, I'm sorry, but I apologize, let me read yeah. the names. Video Game Land. Video Game Land. Uh, the last few guys I found. Call of Duty. <laughs> yeah, the last guy was Ziggy8757, I forgot to mention your name, I right. apologize. Ziggy. And Bob Bob was the EU regulation one. That was, that was a great one. Uh, the one I'm reading now, Video Game Land. Hi, Alan Lewis, if you had to keep, only keep one Creed fragrance out of oh. the whole collection, which would it be? I know it's tough to pick. Only one. Oh, you know, that's a really, really difficult one. You know, um, are we going to be repetitive and say Aventus? It, it, it would be between Green Irish and Aventus. Let's just say that word. Aventus yeah, a lot, it seems like. I know, but you know, um, it's, uh, it, wear, it works extremely well. It's, you know, it's very friendly. Uh, people love it. You know, you get positive reaction, so Aventus? yeah, it would be a GIC or Aventus, but only yeah, one. Yeah, Aventus, Aventus. Uh, yeah, I say Aventus too. So. It works on me. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's move on. The next one. Let's see. There's so many, man. Let's. Let's, let's, let's. Uh, anything? Let's see here. Um, this was a quick one. Uh, for me, Al, from Eddie Bello. Do you hate any fragrances? Oh, I, I would say oh. I hate Secretions Magnifique. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Those are kind of weird. Those are kind of weird. Well, do you hate any fragrances? You know, um, I, there's some fragrances I hated over time, and then you know, uh, I kind of grown to love, kind of thing. You yeah, know, I, like same with me. Yeah. I I told a story many times. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I, again, you know, it's 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 fragrance. Sometimes is an accessory 
to, to fashion also. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, like if you're wearing Prada sunglasses and Prada sneakers, you're probably gonna wear a Prada fragrance. Yeah. You know? So uh, it could be that style, that season. So we were talking earlier today, uh, in the year 2000, YSL released M7. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know that one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it was, an, it was an oud scent, but at that, in that time, I was not in that place. Yeah. Now you and appreciate it? Now I appreciate it. Yeah. Back then, I was like, they have a, get that away from yeah, me. Yeah. But now, it's like, wow, that's a pretty amazing fragrance. I think it was just ahead of its time in, in the US. Yeah. You know? M7. So, M7, you know, it was a hate, but I love it now. It's very hard to get. Very, very hard to get. The, well, M7, they have vintage. They have an original formulation. They reformulate yeah. it, right? Yeah, but that, that, those original bottles, they're, they're very yeah, hard, hard to find. find it, yeah. they're, far, they're hard to find. All right, let's move on. Next questions for both of us. I mean, these are all for both of us. Uh, how long have you been into fragrances, and when did you start? Uh, well, for me, I, I kind of got into fragrance uh, by accident, which is a long story. Yeah, yeah but um, I mean, I've been wearing fragrances ever since I was little. I mean, when we weren't allowed to leave the house without combing our hair, tucking our shirt in, belt, and our fragrance. That yeah. was my mom's rule. <laughs> but um, officially to work in fragrance, 1999 when I moved to New York from Florida. Yeah. Me, it was the 80s. My, my brothers, I had older brothers, yeah. much older than me. Mm -hmm. I was a little boy, and they had you know their draw car lying around, yeah. or whatever, or the Halston. Yeah. And they would leave, they would go out, yeah, they would go out, you know, put their fragrance on and leave. Yeah. And I'm home alone, and I'm much younger, and I, I'm like, you know what, these guys put fragrance on, let me put it on. So I would put it on, and I remember putting it on and going out with my parents, and you know, I'm a little boy, and some older lady is like, Wow, you smell good. And I felt so proud to say to get yeah. a compliment. Yeah. And it started from then. From then till now. If we only had a Ventus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Back then? Yeah, Halston and Dracar and Aramis. Yeah. I would have beat Obama to the presidency, I swear. <laughs> if only people had seen the future. Oh my god. Okay, let's see. Uh, next question. Uh, let's see. Alright. Uh, this is for this. This is from O2XB. I hope it's smelling good. For you, your, is your wife into perfume? And if so, what are her favorite fragrances? On you and your favorite on her. All right. You know, um, she loves Aventus on me, my same wife. Here, same and, here. You know, my wife also loves Lyric Man on me as well. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's my watch. You know, my first date with my wife, I was wearing Aventus. So, you know, it has, it has that place for her. So a lot of times she does want me to wear it. And you know, I'm, I'm gonna say white flowers. You know, she, her? she wore it on her wedding day. Yeah. So on our wedding day, excuse me, so white flowers. Love her. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, I love white flowers on her. And also, one of my new loves on her is Iris Tuberose. Okay. Oh. Okay. Aquarius Great Aquarius. fragrance. Yeah. yeah Aquarius Tuberose. My my uh, my wife, uh, Virgin Island Water, smells amazing. Yeah. Her, and yeah. Molecule One. Oh, from Eccentric Molecule. Yeah, yeah. She, that's a good one. She wears it's that. Musky. Smells amazing on her. Yeah, yeah, that's great. I actually share that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but she smells great on I've her. I've had a couple. And of Virgin, you know, you know, she likes. I know she loves it. Yeah. Every yeah. time she comes in, she's bothering me. <laughs> yeah. Samples. All right. Next question. Uh, that was a good question, by the way. Okay, this is from Travis and Tonacci. I'm probably saying your name wrong, but I thought. Uh, Antonacci? Let's see, Antonacci. Antonacci. Travis Antonacci, buongiorno. All right, any creeds <laughs> that you guys don't like? Ooh, that's a good one. You know, um... That's from, hard for you. Yeah, you know, uh, my skin is pretty good for this stuff, and I, I think that's why it kind of stayed in fragrance all these years, and kind of evolved, you know? But, um, uh, some of the classics are a little bit tough to wear. You know, classic creeds are kind of like tuxedo jackets. You know, they were made for specific people in history, so they may not all fit. You know, and there's a few that don't fit me. You know, um, there was one, um, there was one from years ago um, that uh, it, I know it's fa it's famous. A lot of people love it, but on me, it just doesn't work. And it was called Royal Delight. Okay, Royal Delight. It was it was a fruit blend with leather. It just didn't work on me. But I could wear Royal English leather, which yeah. a lot of people. You know, they had a tough time with but on me it smelled amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I smelled like a man. Yeah. But uh, Royal Royal Delight, it just didn't work for me. Royal Delight. Yeah, Royal yeah. Delight. And so me, what about you? Royal Water, I'm not. Yeah, Royal Water? I'm not, I, I like it, but I don't like it. Yeah. You know, it's one that I, you, you, you never see me look at Royal Water, no, right? No, no. I always put it to the side. I yeah. Mean, I know some people like it, but it just doesn't work for me. You know, I, I think that Royal Water is, um, 
It's a green, good-looking cousin of original vetiver. Yeah. So I, a lot of, I think a lot of people kind of go for the vetiver. Yeah. It's just a little soapier. Yeah. 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 Huh. Good question. Yeah. All right. Oh, they're all great questions. All right. Let's see. Uh, huh. This guy, Christian Silva, again. Yeah. Christian Silva. Yeah. 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 It's another one that we're gonna. Can you? Can only boys be future master master perfumes in the Cree family? Yeah. Like passed down from father to son. Is it only boys? You know, um, you want to talk about that in the history? No, no, no. We can talk about that right here. Okay. Actually, actually, that is the rule. It's, 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 it's tradition. It's, you know, uh, it's been passed down for six generations. Yeah, an yeah. unbroken line. Yes, from father to son. So it's only the boys that have been trained since a young age to be master perfumers. But I mean, there have been girls in the family, they just do other things. It's not that they're good, you know, in actuality, in the world, I mean, speaking on a, on a broad stage, there are more talented perfumers that are women than men. You know, but yeah, yeah. In, in, in Cree family, it's, it's, it's the men. You know, um, but there are women, you know, they, they just do other things, you know, they're, um, they work in packaging, distribution, uh, and, and on, on the corporate level. Hmm. Yeah? Okay, great yeah. question. Great question. Amazing question. Okay, let's see. I'm trying to see uh, what else. So, okay, this is from Go Harder, Get Bigger. Go Harder, Get Bigger. And this is for you. Right. This is something that I, I'm actually curious. All right. You know, what What's Lewis' favorite scent from bond number nine, and why? Actually, uh, from bond number nine, I would have to say scent of peace. Okay. You what, know the original one or the for him. No, 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 for ladies. Okay, for ladies. The, the purple bottle. I have yeah. that. I have that. Yeah, it's yeah. good. You know, um, it's fruity. It's 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 fresh. You know, um, it, it it reminds me a little bit of Dolce Gabbana. Yeah, like, like, blue, like blue. blue. Yes. So you know, I I've always liked that on girls. Yeah. Um, so I I think that's a nice one. Do you do you wear that or do you like it on? No, your... I like it on women. On women. Yeah. How about for yourself? Uh you know, I I've had a few bonds. I think. My favorite one would have to be the signature one, the gold one. Okay, just the bond number nine? Yeah, just the bond number nine, signature, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It has a little oud and some spices. Um, I think that one's probably my favorite one. Um, no, nothing against them, but I think the rest, for me, a little bit syrupy. Okay. It just, oh. They have a little sweetness. Most of the line, I, I like, yeah. yeah, I like that one for me. Okay, awesome. Good, yeah. Really good question. I was actually yeah, I'm a freaking lover. I mean, I can go to every company and pick two. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot that I like, you know, so. Okay, uh, let's see. That was good. I'm like thrown back with these questions, you guys. Amazing. There's so many. I'm Amazing. just trying to, I'm to ask. Um, I, I, I kind of saw one oh, yeah. uh, real quick uh, about like what we do in our spare time, not working at Creek. I thought that's pretty cool. Yeah, there is one. Well, um, yeah, yeah. there's one. It's yeah. an email. I got some emails too. Let's, let's see. Uh, this is from Blake. Blake. It's an email. Al Lewis, what kind of movies do you guys like? Name two. Oh what my god. Movies? Uh, Rocky IV! <laughs> yeah. Rocky IV, who's talking about? I love movie? that movie! Listen, yeah, you, know, Chicago, yeah. is, uh... you know, my wife was yelling at me the other day because she walked by the living room. She's like, again? Yeah. I happen to see, like, this like a marathon, and yeah. I can watch it every single time. I don't get tired of it. <laughs> I know all the songs. <laughs> the soundtrack? <laughs> I love it. Rocky IV. You know, it gets me pumped. What about Starface? Yeah, Scarface is good. You know, Scarface That's is one of the favorite. ones yeah. that you gotta have time to watch yeah. it. But I was, uh, it's, it's, it's a thing. I was one that watched it. Yeah, I can, you know, I can watch it, but listen, Rocky, you can now. Carlitos Way. Carlitos Way is awesome too. Carlitos. What about you guys? You guys, what, what's your favorite movies? Goodfellas. Goodfellas. <laughs> Freddy. Bronx Tale. Bronx Tale. Bronx Tale. Bronx Tale. Bronx Tale. Bronx Tale. Awesome. Uh, New Yorkers. Yeah. yeah. Uh, hey, yeah, Don Tomer is good too. That one. That yeah. One. I wish Benny was here. We can ask him which one he's. Okay, let's go. Let's move on. The next one is uh, this is from Herb, and this is uh, does the Creed soap and body wash make the fragrance last longer? Well, you know, um, again, we actually spoke yeah, a little yeah, about it, that. It, they're they're meant to enhance the fragrance. You, enjoy, you know, you enjoy it in the shower. It smells, your bathroom smells amazing. I don't think it's gonna last all day. So if you're looking for projection of the shower gel, I don't think that's the way to go. I think find a, a body oil if you want to, you know, increase the scent. Uh, but the shower just they smell amazing. You know, they're they're vivid, they're very bright. All right, let me uh, go on to the next one. It says GWM Gamer. Did you try Dior Eau Sauvage Parfum? 
And please, if you did, tell me what it smells like. And what's your favorite place to buy fragrances from other than the Korean Boutique? For right. me, the best place to buy is from Harrods. Yeah. Wow. I always visit, visit it when I'm in London. Yeah. I love it because it has a large collection of fragrances. That's, that's great. Harrods is a great store. You I mean, Creed, yeah. there, right? I have not, but Creed has definitely a big presence in Harrods. Yes. You know, that's our number one counter in the UK. They do amazing. Uh, we were lucky and blessed that we were able to, to sell their, their uh, Creed exclusive. Which was the Creed 1849, yes. the Middle Seam 1849. Yes. So that's a great, um, yeah. great fragrance and a yeah. great store. So if you're lucky to go to Harrods, yeah. my yeah. man, yeah. that's an amazing yeah. experience. For me, you know, I live in New York City, it's metropolitan. We have also great stores, great boutiques here. You know, um, I like to shop at Barney's. I used to work there, I know a lot of the vendors there. So there you can get uh, Editions Z Parfum, Frederick Mall, you can get La La Lo. As a matter of fact, um, Byredo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get Byredo, yeah, it's Serge yeah. Luton, and, and so on and so on. So, yeah. so you're, you know, you're it, lucky it, to be in New York. Yeah, I mean, it's a few blocks down from me here, yeah, yeah. so it's easy for me to zip over there on my lunch break and yeah. kind of, you know, smell new stuff. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of, it's Nassim just a Nassim lot of new Nassim things. Nassimato, Black Up Gano. Oh, yeah, Nassimato. I, I like Duro from him. Duro, yeah. 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 Right. And, you know, um, also BG, Bird of Goodman. Yeah, yeah. You know, oh, yeah, yeah. That's another great yeah, place. Yeah, they have Francis there. Garland's there. there. Yeah. Garland has their boutique there. Yeah. So, absolutely. So, so, for me, here in New York City, I have to say, you know, I kind of stay in uptown. I know a lot of guys like to go to the main downtown, but yeah. I stay uptown. I do Barney's and yeah. Bergdorf yeah. just because of geographic. It's close yeah. for me. I, I'm, I'm always there too when I come here. I always yeah. have to visit them. As Barney's well. is great. What about Barney's. Uh, Dior Homme Sauvage? Do you, do you, what, what, what's your take on that? Um, Au Sauvage classic, I Au love. Sauvage, yeah. I, lo I love Au Sauvage. You know, Au Sauvage is um, it's a classic scent from the 1950s. Yeah. You know, it was. Um, it was a fragrance that was uh, it was made by Serge Heffler. Uh, he is um, the grandfather of Frederick Mall. Did you know that? No, I didn't know that. Ah. Ah. So Fred know Frederick Mall's grandfather made Au Sauvage for Dior initially. You know, I, I like the classic uh, sense as well, so that's a great fragrance. Yeah. Do you own that? I do own that. Okay. I do own Au Sauvage. Sure you did. Yeah. All right. <laughs> uh, next question. Let's see. I just had one. So many. Uh... Okay, this from Spurs two six six six. Spurs two six six. Can you talk about Texas? <laughs> can you talk about Creed Erolfa with Lewis? It's another great underrated fragrance. Erolfa, you know, salty um, marine. Yeah, I mean, we have like, yeah, we have two fragrances that are really like um, great for summer. We have Virgin Island Water, yeah. which is a tropical, yeah. which you know, your wife loves that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, just, it's just that tropical essence. And then we have Erolfa. Erolfa, it's more like, it's more marine yeah. than tropical. It's, Salty. it's saltier, yeah. it's, it's very blue. It's yeah. very blue, but it's still kind of herbaceous and transparent. So I, Erolfa is great with jeans and t-shirt, and also blazer, I mean, you know, in the summertime. Great, yeah, yeah. you know? So, I, 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 I like a, I like a roll for. As a matter of fact, you have a nice little. Yeah, we have we have a display of a roll for here right now. As a matter of fact, so can you can you show this real quick? So a roll for is the roll for for yeah. you. Are we good on time on the thing? The time is good. The battery is good. We're almost dead on the battery. Almost done the battery. Okay, <laughs> the battery is almost dead, so we're gonna have to wrap this up. Yeah. Maybe we'll continue this so, in another video. Al, there was one question that I saw here. What do you do in your spare time? Yeah, the, yeah. From, yeah. What do I do in my spare time? Yeah. What do you do? What do you hang out? She what do you do? <laughs> what is yeah. Besides doing street sense? Yeah. That's, that, that, that is a good question. What do I do? I watch movies. I hang out with my family. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I like to go to movies. I like to watch movies a lot. I love movies. Yeah. I like to be with my family, hang out with my friends. Yeah. I like to do street sense in my spare time. That's, I like to you know engage in the fragrance community. And I love to go to like TJ Maxx or Marshalls to just find the next cheap fragrance, like the bargain that yeah. I call it. Yeah, 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 yeah. And yeah. I'm always like, I go, I go there, I'm like, oh, dip, you know, uh, they have, uh, let me give you an example, Salvatore Ferragamo F, mm -hmm. free time. It's cheap fragrance, it's like a citrusy fragrance. Mm -hmm. I forgot what it smelled like, it was like 20 bucks. Perfect. 20 bucks. Pick right up Ferragamo, you know, 20 up, bucks? Yeah. That's you a good idea. You get up home and you open up, like, you're like a kid in a candy, so you open it up and you smell, oh, it smells great, yeah. it's like, hey. And I'm sure you're like me, you open it in the car. You don't oh, wait until yeah. you open the cup. I think at home, yeah. I, I'm opening. I actually <laughs> bought more than one. Yeah. yeah. I bought uh, the Burberry original, which I forgot. Mm -hmm. It's like uh, a, a bunch of them. Uh, yeah, that's fun. That's fun. Uh, Versace Dreamer. Yeah. That was another yeah. one. 
So yeah, I'm always going to the bar. Oh my god. It's such a dreamer. It's such a dreamer, yeah. dreamer was great. That's I actually got some friends that I had a lot. I swapped and I, I missed it and I saw it and I, I, I yeah, got it again. That's okay. So I'm, I'm kind of, yeah, it's amazing. I'm constantly uh, searching for that next fragrance and watching movies and hanging out with my family and all that good stuff. That's great. I used to watch a lot of Kung Fu movies back in the Oh my god. I have, I have a collection of those. <laughs> History of chess boxing and. Yeah, and, uh, all those. Uh, Let me find out. Crouching Tiger. Crouching Tiger. Yes. <laughs> so, okay, anybody want? Anyone, yeah, yeah. And I also collect the photographs. Wasn't it like the Five Deadly Venoms? Five Deadly Venoms. Awesome <laughs> movie. Five Deadly Venoms. <laughs> Drunken Monkey. Yeah. Shaolin. Yeah, I yeah. love that song. I love that song. And I also collect autographs. I have a huge autograph collection. I was here not too long ago, mm. a couple years ago. I don't know if you were here. It was Rocky. Dan Marino walked by outside. Oh, sure. yeah. yeah, and I got outside with Dan Marino. I was like, hey, Dan Marino. And he was really cool, and I got his autograph. And that was real cool. Yeah. And I have a huge collection of autographs. That's great. A huge collection. That's great. So I, those are the things that I'm interested yeah. in I do. How about yourself? You know, I work retail, so you know we're busy here. You know, I mean, we, we have fun to do the videos and things, but you know, we're always busy. So, you know, what I like to do, I like to go on vacation. That's awesome. I, I, you know, I like, I like to just get away. You know, whether it be to see my family in Rhode Island, or just, you know, just for the weekend, or you know, just kick around in Boston, or you know, if, if I, if I'm able to take like, more than five days, I always go back to my country. I go to the Dominican Republic. I, you know, I go to Punta Cana, sit yeah, on the beach Punta for a week. Cana, yeah, I've been there. That's, that's how I keep my tan all year long. <laughs> But you know, I, I, I like to just um, get away and just relax. I'm a summer kid, yeah. so anything that deals with water, I love. And warm weather. Yeah, so you know, I love jet skiing, I love boating, I love fishing. Anything that's outdoor, that's me. Awesome. And, awesome. and washing my car. I love washing my oh, car. Yeah. Nice Everybody's car. like, yeah. you know, like, go to the car wash. I'm like, no. Oh. Rodney used to call me in my days off, hey, what are you doing? I'm like, I'm washing my car. <laughs> hey, <laughs> so, everybody has their thing. Yeah, you know, just. Awesome. Enjoy yeah, I, like, I like to be outside. I like to be outside, do my own lawn work, all that. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah. Awesome. Anything that has to be with outdoors, you know, that's where to go. This summer, we're gonna hang out. Yeah, absolutely. Barbecue time, my barbecue. house. There you go. Yeah. Uh, one more question yeah. before we wrap this. I know the, the battery's gonna die on us. Yeah. We shot so many videos. This is the last question. We'll wrap it up with this. Mm -hmm. This is actually a cool question, Louis. How did you find out about Creed, and what made you want to work there? Whoa! <laughs> uh, one more thing. That's a great question. From Christian Silva again. And another one from Christian Silva to uh, finish that. Louis, now, what creed do you recommend for a 16 year old boy? So there's two questions. Yeah. Okay, you know, um, the fragrance I recommend to a 16 year old boy would be Millicent McCurry. Okay. It's very, very easy to wear and it doesn't, it doesn't really scream. Okay. I think if you're 16, you don't need to be screaming with your fragrance. Okay. You know, I just kind of tone it down a little bit. Wear something that smells good, that's um, inviting, that's semi-sweet, you know, kind of fresh, and just, you know, just easy, easy. Okay. I think if you're 16, just kind of wait a little bit. Okay. Wait yeah. a little bit. Aventus, maybe 21. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and then, and then the other question he had, how did you find out about Creed and what made you want to work there? We have enough time? Okay. Well, you know, um, I, I've been, I've worked for a couple other fragrance houses before I worked for Creed. I worked for Editions de Parfum, Frederick Mall for four mm -hmm. years. Um, I worked for Guerlain for a small period of time. And See, people didn't know that. Yeah, so, you, you know. You wore Must Ravageur to death. I, I wore Must Ravageur, Original Vetiver, Bois de Rat. I mean, yeah. I wore a lot of them, you know, and, and a lot of the Guerlain I love. And, um, and I heard that the Creed Boutique um, was going to open. When was so this? this was in 2009. 2009. 2009. So Creed Boutique was going to open. So, you know, in, in this industry, you get to meet a lot of people. So I kind of found my way through um, to, to contact the people up above. Um, and I, and I, I did. All the time? No, I was actually working for Gilan. Okay. I had left Frederick Mall. Um, I, I was working for Gilan at the time. And I kind of reached up to Creed Corporate. And scheduled an interview, yeah. and I think we hit it off. And five years later, we're we're here. You know, at the number one Creed council in the country. So you've been here since day one. I've been here since day one. Awesome. Day one. Awesome. I remember putting up every single bottle. Um, and me and you have been friends since 2010. Yeah. I came in in 2010. Surely, yeah. I mean, we, we yeah we opened the store um, December 17th of 2009. Wow. And you know, it was just our anniversary. Of five years uh, this December, so we're happy about that. But yeah, so awesome. that's a great question. Um, yeah. you know, it, it, it was kind of hard to get into Creed. I mean, you know, Creed it's 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 um, it's a very specific brand. 
and they, they, they just like ingredients, they kind of pick the very best. You know, whenever you go to a pre counter, trust me, they were hand picked. You know, so they, they will have all the information you need. So if you can't ever reach any one of us here, you know, be confident that you can go to an Eamons, a Saks, a Nordstrom, and they can answer any question you may have because everybody has been selected. You know, and, and it's and the com yeah, and the company structure is really family. Yeah, yeah. And that's that's what I love the most about working for Creed is that you know we there's a lot of respect. Everybody knows our name. You know, it's we're not in a huge corporate uh, kind of setting. You know, we're we're little guys, and 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 a, and a medium sized company. You know, like we know the people in France, the people that they know us here. I know I know Peaches in California. Hey, and and you know, and everybody that works you know at at um, you know at, at the Creed level. So. You know, it's, it's a small company, everybody's treated like family. Yeah. Uh, we get to work with amazing, yeah. amazing product, yeah. and, and, and we deal with superbly educated consumers. Awesome. You know, um, we, we get celebrities, we get dignitaries, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. we get awesome. artists, we crazy, get yeah. construction workers, yeah. we he, get he's video being, gamers. He's being modest, though. And, and, uh, and, <laughs> he's being modest. He's, and, he's there for a reason. Yeah, he's good at that. Oh, nice try. He's a great guy. No, nice try. But you know, he's a great guy. I mean, everybody. Uh, thank you, guys. Thank you. Also, all agree. I mean, thank you. But you know, and, and again, you know, we, we, we get really really great um, customers that have become friends, of course, like, like you, and you know, like everybody here in this room, and you know, and we really appreciate it, and you know, we just keep growing because of you guys, you know, because of definitely because of you, you know, you've given us as we're reaching to Poland. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, I mean, that guy from uh, that day when he came, Tony. What was yeah, he was from Sweden. Sweden was Sweden. No, uh, excuse me, uh, Denmark. Denmark. Yeah, Denmark. Denmark. He was Denmark, Danish. Yeah. So well, we yeah, Scandinavia. We even have people as far as Australia. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. yeah. yeah so it's yeah. national big time. Yeah, yeah. So you know, and, and and what's and what's really really funny and really be humbling also is that a lot of people, you know, I'm walking down the street, they're like street sets. Oh yeah. <laughs> so well, Al, thank you. Uh, thank you. Man. I actually like when I'm here and people, you know, hey Al, my like, yeah. wow, you know, yeah. that really touches me because yeah. I feel blessed that you know somebody will actually watch my video for one second. Yeah. You know, and actually be entertained. You know, uh, I'm just being myself. You know, I'm just out there being myself. I'm very animated and you know all that craziness, but that's just me. Yeah. And I'm not going to change who I am. I'm going to continue to do what I do. And I want to say thank you to everybody. Yeah, well, and I love coming here. And it's great to do something you love, and, right? And you know, people recognizing me, and we have to talk and have some smiles and laughs, yeah. and maybe I, I help people and all that good stuff. I mean, I'm just, I'm blessed. I'm, I'm very happy and I'm very thankful. Thank yeah. you. Thank everybody out there. All my subscribers, uh, all my fellow reviewers, everybody out there. It's just yeah. been an amazing journey. I started in 2010, and I'm gonna just keep going. I'm gonna, That's right. I'm gonna take the full force. 2015 is gonna be our year. Absolutely. It's gonna be our year. Absolutely. I, mean, I, I, I want to ask it. you one question. Yeah. This is a question from me to you. Okay. Before we wrap this up, Have, did you ever meet Olivia Creed and Erwin Creed? Did you yeah. ever hang out with them? Absolutely. You know, um, we see Erwin more more than Olivia. Sun. Yeah. You know, um, these people they travel a lot. You know, so um, usually when when Irwin comes to do his tour in the U.S., he'll definitely um, stop and have some time for us. You know, um, we'll usually have a dinner, so he'll set a date aside. Oh, you got it. Wow. Yeah, so we'll have a dinner with myself he's and speaks, Rodney and Emerson. English? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, absolutely. I mean, he's you know he's new French. He's a young guy. You know, people in Paris they speak English and they speak Spanish. Yeah, a lot of people in Paris speak Spanish. I'm surprised. So yeah, so you know he's he's, a, he's very very. Um, very well versed in fragrance, he knows what he's doing, he's focused, and we're really eager to see what he's going to bring out, you know, as his first fragrance, solo. Um, but we do have time with him, you know, we'll have dinner with, you know, all, all the VPs from Creed Corporate, and then, you know, and with him. So that's, you know, that's that's kind of cool, because a lot of people work for these companies that never see the creator. Yeah, yeah, yeah. never see, uh, and, and it's kind of nice to have that time, because we get to pick his brain, mm -hmm. and really get it from the horse's mouth, so to speak. So, you know, what's, you know, it's, it's, it's just easier to hear from the artist mm -hmm. versus an interpreter. So I always like to spend time with him and we kind of listen to every word and, you know, try to get secret information out of him. Yeah, yeah. But he's, you know, he's, he's yeah, tough. Yeah, yeah. You know, so it's a, it's, well, it's a very secretive business. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, that's, that's just how it is. And Olivier, uh, he was here a year ago. He stayed for a week in the Upper East Side in a local hotel here. So we got to see him throughout the week, 
and he spent some time with us, and you know, he's in his 70s, but he's, he's a very, very focused individual. I mean, he came in here, he looked at the tester unit, he goes, give me the pen and the paper, and he just drew something in a matter of seconds. He goes, we're gonna make something different like this, and you know, he, he's always thinking, and that, that, that just like was really uh, eye-opening for me. Wow. Because I was like, wow, you know, because you think people at the top, they're like, oh, we have people